Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are making a easy chicken alfredo bake. It is one of my daughter's favorite meals, which is here, so she's a special guest today. We're making it in her honor. <laughs> also wanna wish you guys a happy Valentine's Day. Love is in the air. It's not all about having a partner or a significant other. It's also about loving your animals, your children, your family, and loving yourself as well. So let's get started with this video. All right, so we're first gonna set the oven to 350 so that it can preheat while we prepare everything else. Now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and get the chicken started. So I got boneless breast. We're gonna go ahead and cut this up into like little squares. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start cutting this up into little cubes or however you like your chicken alfredo. Some people do strips, I like little cubes. Funny fact is I don't even eat the chicken because I just think it adds flavor to the alfredo. And these knives are absolutely amazing. Jose bought these for me, they're nice and sharp. All right, now that the chicken's cut, I'm gonna wash my hands to make sure my hands are clean. No chicken salmonella on it. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and turn the stove on. I like to use olive oil. You can use whatever oil you like. Add some olive oil in there. Let that warm up. I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt to the chicken and some pepper. Now, while the chicken is getting warmed up and everything, I'm gonna go ahead and take my pot and I'm gonna fill it up with some water. So you wanna boil your noodles because noodles take a little bit longer. The chicken's gonna get done quicker, so make sure you get this going. So we're gonna put this on high. We're gonna add some salt. And I also like to add some chicken broth to it. It makes the noodles taste really good. We'll put the lid on so it can get to a boil. Now, fun fact about Valentine's Day. I looked it up, Googled it. There's three different facts about when it started and why it started. Okay, so the first one they say started in 496. It was a Roman festival and that's why it started. And then there was another one that in, I wanna say 1375, it was a poem from a poet Jeffrey Chaucer or something like that. And that's why Valentine's Day was invented as well. Then there was another one saying an emperor of Claude, um, Claude something executed two men on February 14th that names were Valentine's. And that's when it originated as well. So if you know the true origin of Valentine's Day, please leave in the comments and let me know what you find. So this is about the longest part of the process. I'm gonna add some garlic salt to it because I love garlic. And then I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning to the chicken. You don't wanna to add too much because it can be overpowering, but just enough. And you will let that cook as well. Okay, so another fun fact about Valentine's Day is the little candy hearts that we eat today, back in the day, I'm not sure what era it's from, but they were actually for medical lozenges. Isn't that crazy that they used it for medical purposes and we eat them as candy today? All right, now that the water's boiling, we're gonna go ahead and add our, whatever kind of noodles you wanna use, I'm gonna use these, because I think they taste really good in the bake. So another fun fact about Valentine's Day is in the US alone, sells over one billion chocolate on Valentine's Day. That's a lot of chocolate. So open this up, and you're just gonna uh, go. Take your handy dandy spoon, and just, Give it a couple stirs. Now you wanna keep an eye on noodles because they tend to stick to the bottom. You don't want that. All right, so now that our noodles are boiling, we're gonna go back to the chicken. I'm going to use four cheese Alfredo. Four cheese Alfredo. Now you can drain this if you want to, but I'm gonna leave everything in there because it, again, it gives it more flavor. I'm gonna open it. And we're just gonna pour this on top. And then we'll pour the other one on top as well. Then you're gonna give it a good mix. You're gonna see the oils and the juices and everything, but again, if you wanna take that out, you can. I prefer to leave it there. So we'll mix that around. I'm gonna add a little bit more Italian seasoning to it. Sprinkle some on top. A little more garlic. You can never go wrong with garlic. And then I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese to it. Now this is up to you. I think it makes it taste really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle this on top. And then we're gonna mix. Not too shabby. Now we're gonna go ahead and let that sit just for a few minutes until our noodles are done and then we're gonna drain the noodles and I'll show you the rest. 
All right, so our noodles are almost done, but I want to tell you another fun fact about Valentine's Day. About 20% of pet owners give their dogs and cats, birds, whatever, Valentine's Day gifts. I thought that was pretty neat. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get ready to drain this. Turn this off, drain this. All right, so now that our noodles are in here, we're gonna go ahead and pour them in this dish like that. Then we're gonna take the chicken here and we're just gonna pour that on top. Another fun fact about Valentine's Day is the chocolate box has been around for 150 years. All right, so now we're gonna pour this. Now you're gonna go ahead and stir this all together. Nice and stir. Make sure all the noodles are covered. It sounds squishy. We're gonna take some more Parmesan cheese and add a little bit on top. And then we're gonna put Reynolds Wrap on it and we're gonna put it in the oven for at least 15 to 20 minutes and just let it sit and do your thing. Set your timer. I'm gonna set it for at least, we'll do 18 minutes and your dinner's in the oven and you can go have a glass of wine or do whatever you like to do while it cooks. See you in a bit. All right, so our timer went off, so now it's time to get the chicken alfredo out the oven. Now, before I reveal this beautiful chicken dinner, I wanna share another fun fact with you guys. Did you know that over 250 million roses are grown just for Valentine's Day? That's a lot of roses. All right. Look how beautiful and it's bubbly. And just mix it one more time. You can add broccoli to this, shrimp to this, tomatoes. You can make some bread on the side. Whoops, throwing some stuff out. But dinner is served and it's absolutely amazing. Hope you try it. I want to thank you guys for joining me for another video of Easy Meals. I hope you enjoy them as much as I enjoy making them for you guys. I wanna give a huge shout out to Dana Marie. She made my chicken pot pie. And she loved it. And I appreciate you sharing that with me on my Facebook. And see you guys next Tuesday. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you guys. If you don't have a Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day. Love you all. And I'll see you guys next time.